Hi everybody. So I got a new journal today and well, I didn't get it. I, I finished it and it's, it's a long story. Anyway, I finally finished it and this is my newest uh, music one. So here we go. Um, obviously, you know, guys, I do my own covers and this one is really, truly what you want to call, um, not just a junk journal, but um, what am I trying to say? A recycled cover journal as well. So as you can kind of see, there's a picture of a violin in the background and I printed it out and then I put a little piece of wood that actually is one of those pieces of wood that you put in the back of your frame and to put the picture in and keep it straight. And then I added the little gems and then at the bottom down here, I have little washers and little um, gemstones. And then this thread is from my embroidery thread. Uh, down here, this piece is the piece that I had for a while. Now I got it um, in a junk thing. And it's it's got a keyhole in the middle of it. So I think it was supposed to like go on a door or something to decorate it. And then I added these little pipe things, which are part of a, a, just a little plastic tube that I had to cut up. And then I did the beads and colored them in and then they had little holes kind of sideways holes and so I added little beads to, or little pieces of uh, gemstones to these. It seems like I still have a lot of little um, pieces of glue I just need to get off that's dried. And there's a cute little red ladybug here and a heart. This is holding on the ribbon. These things right here are that make the piano keys are, oh, and by the way, this is supposed to represent the head of the guitar, the very top of it where you tune it. I hope that comes across. And then the little piano keys are actually pieces that came out of an actual organ. And they are like the wind pieces, the metal pieces that the wind goes through that makes the tones. And so I painted those and I added those and um, I used um, crocodile paper on the side. Oops. And, um, and then you can see that I have added a really cute little trumpet that's dangling. And then at the bottom, there's just this little gold piece. And I kept this back really simple. This actually is just a cutout from um, a music book uh, on how to learn how to play a cello. Um, so we'll take it back around. So there is that. And this thing is huge, as usual. I didn't like the first one I started because it wasn't big enough and now as usual I overdid it. So it's held together with a red ribbon which took a while for me to get it to stay in but it is now in so I'm going to burst it open and let's get started. So okay let's pull it open and get myself situated. Um, this one does not have a lot of scrapbooking paper in it so I tried to make my own papers as much as possible and so like I found a lot of really cool sayings and things like that and I have a couple other little things that looks like I forgot to do but anyway I got a little trim I have to put right here that I would like to put a little piece of red ribbon or something there. So the first page or the first section starts with this really cool picture of this girl that's covered in um, music notes and then these are um, paper clips that I made, um, which I'm terrible when I try to, when I try to think, guitar picks, and they're on both sides. And these have pictures, of course, of some paintings and, and stuff. So I'm gonna put that back on in a little while. And it's holding this next page closed. So the next page opens up and it has this cute little, let's get myself situated in the picture, this little door and there's a little gemstone in the knob. And it opens up and then this is a um, booklet that you can open up and write in so you can see that and i liked i've really like searched for a lot of really cool pictures um off of the internet so i could do some really cool things love love this picture of this old piano in this house it's just crazy cool and then this opens up and it has another little booklet that I made and you can open this up of course and write in there and then this little piano key paper came from a graphic 45 thing and then there's also another page here so and then that paper clip that I pulled off 
I'm going to try to put it back on. Um, it's holding this all down. So you can see there that that, that holds that all closed up. Um, I've tried to pass by the stuff that's just obviously paper, but there's trim on the paper. And then I, I cut out a bunch more of those little guitar picks. So we got a lot of places to write. And um, this thing's giving me a hard time. It's so thick, you guys. And then I've got a page here that's got a cute little picture of a guitar or a violin. And then... I know this is going to really give me a hard time, so I'm going to have to get that tucked back in there. This is um, another really cool picture that I fussy cut along the edges of a rose and a keyboard keyboards. And then it's also got a little booklet in it. And this one actually has a bunch of pages, so you can actually journal on that. And, of course, you know, you got to have music pages inside of here. So I've got music pages and ribbon. And then this page has a really cool... Uh, cello and then there's a ephemera writing page this ephemera is actually just kind of last minute it actually was the back of the book that was a music book and I cut the back of it off and it has like more books about obviously music and then there's another guitar pick up here and then we have a fussy cut beautiful organ and then out you can see where's a beautiful picture of a trumpet with some music notes that slid in behind that and this book is freaking huge um, there's a little piece of leftover paper down there and um, there's a spot here where you can put and that's really pretty paper another spot that I I ran out of ephemera <laughs> I like, was used it all in this thing and then I bought some really cool Tim Holtz music sheets. And so I put those in here and I have some cute little notes on my writing pages. Another um, guitar pick, another pick, that's the name of the book, the strings book. And so that's there. And um, I think like everything's backwards. This is kind of cool. Um, there's a guitar head piece of ephemera look at this picture like that is so cool you see the guy dancing back there and then another piece from the back of the book underneath the guitar pick um and here's another place oh i just glued that one on oh no it opens so you can put something in here and my famous coloring pages and here's another piece of ephemera i love these pictures so and that just kind of totally looks cool, just kind of sitting in there and chilling. Here's another really cool piece. And uh, music is my heart. And there's a really cool page. And oh, my little trumpet's giving me a bad time back there. This, look at this. My guitar is like buried and I just think these pictures are just so freaking cool. And this opens up and there's another booklet and it has a pocket on the back. It's hard to do you guys, I only have one hand. But this ephemera comes out and then there's a pocket back here. So there's actually three pockets in the back of this little booklet that you can stuff little notes. And here's some more of that ephemera from the back of that. And pages. And I love this. And look at this little guy. He's so cute. And this is actually a pocket up here. So um, you can stuff some large pictures or whatever you want to go in there. Uh, more writing paper. Um, there's a really cool picture on it music thing and I don't know if you remember that red thing earlier this is what came out of it what cut out of it and this opens up and um, I'm not sure if this one has anything in it but no I don't have anything in this one um, oh yeah I do <laughs> surprise oh yeah another really cool picture isn't that great so a great big huge thing to write on and I get it back in there I tell you, this sucker is packed. 
I'm not going to worry about the lid on that right now. Um, another thing to color. Let's see, I can get this back up so you can see what's going on. Okay, and then this is a little partial sheet. And more places to write. And another really pretty piece. It's just got some... I took a lot of little scraps and I made pockets and then I decorated the pieces of paper that I added. Um, love this. Another little guitar pick. Another piece here. Ephemera. Um, so this has got a sideways belly band and it has a booklet in it. <sighs> Again, with having to take all this stuff out. So this has got a booklet and again, lots of paper. So, and I try to leave the covers out so you guys can actually see them. But you know what? I'm not gonna deal with that right now. There we go. Of course. This is why my videos are 20 minutes long because I have a heck of a time getting stuff back in when it's sideways. Okay, so turn the page lift it back up here's a small pocket with music and ephemera in it yeah you guys i really like put a lot of time into this as i always do um, this is i love this this little heart right here is actually one of my tattoos only mine is red obviously and then we got a library card And then this back picture, so cool. So that is section one or signature one. That is so cool. This is like the best tattoo. Yeah, leave it to me. Um, okay, so once again, we're gonna have to open this up. Look at this picture and it opens. And then there's like this little faux waterfall and another piece of ephemera. Pretty, huh? And then I used another piece of ephemera that I made and I used it for this pocket. So let me get this back in here. I gotta loosen it up because, and then close this off. Okay. Paper, lots of ribbon, lots of music. My cats are next to me and they're like going crazy. Calm down, girls. Um, another really cool picture um, with some ephemera. All the music notes have paper on the back. Here's a little pocket with some more pictures. <laughs> it's just going to be a battle, you guys. It's so big. And this, this page is beautiful that piano so gorgeous okay and I found these pictures of these girls and look at that isn't that incredible I think there's three more in here oh my god they were so cool um, more writing and here's another little ephemera with this really cool picture behind it on the I try to give a lot of writing, but then I try not to cover the really cool pictures because they're like so cool. Another one of those envelopes, and I'm pretty sure that it's full. So let's see if I can, you know, I'm struggling to, I need to get my nails done really, really bad. And they're so long right now that I just really wish I could just like cut them all off. Okay. I don't even know if I can get this out. <laughs> There we go. All right, so another beautiful picture and it opens up and it's got another picture of ephemera here and in the, in the pocket and then a cup of writing place. And then of course you could write on the back. Let's see if we can get this all back in there. I'd leave it out, but then it would take me like 20 minutes to remember where everything went. So sorry guys, you're just gonna have to 
put up with me putting stuff back, but I will go back and put the lids back on later, like back some up. And there's a music sheet, and on the back of the music sheet is a really cool picture that you can color. I love the coloring things. I think they're cool. And this is really, you can see the eyeball. Um, there's another cool piece, and then another little piece of ephemera. And more writing, another piano, another guitar pick. Um, <laughs> oh my god, my brain is so fried, you guys. Uh, Paperclip! And in the back of this has another little like waterfall where you can write on these backs and fronts. And see, this is the thing that that came out of. Um, this is a pocket. It's got a paper clip. And you can put stuff in the pocket. And then since I didn't want to glue them shut, I just put a paper clip on them. And that way you can remove the paper clip and just put back anything you want in it. There we go. And the paper is really cool. More music notes. This is really cool. And look, this little kid. And uh, another really cool picture. Now, this is a tiny little envelope. I think there might have been some more that I missed. And it has a teeny tiny piece of ephemera in it. I can't even get it out. Like, like look at that. And I did not, that was not intentional, by the way. It was just kind of pure luck that it actually fit in there. So I did that little tiny piece of ephemera way after I made the envelopes. And here's another coloring page. More writing. Um, here is a little heart and a pick. And then look at this picture. So cool. And this opens up, you have a writing place and another little piece of ephemera, which was an extra piece of paper that was cut and some really pretty washi tape. And it's in a little belly band. I like this. Look at this kid, isn't he cute? He's just singing his little heart out. And there's a piece of ephemera. I tried to go find like really cool, interesting um, instruments because I wanted this to really be full of instruments and not so much uh, music bands and things. Like, look at this guitar. And it's got this really cool picture. Um, I'm a big time graphic designer, so I love collages of really odd things. So I think this is like really, really cool to put in here. Uh, there's a lot of my artwork and stuff in here too, but the pictures, you know, of course I got off like Pinterest and stuff like that. So, um, and this piece, look at this. So pretty. Um, that trumpet back there is driving me nuts. <sighs> there's a, another ephemera. And then here we go. This girl, she's a cutie. Isn't that cute? Um, some of these pieces of like paper I attached because I don't like all that white space. It just bothers me. Oh, that's pretty. Music. There's another one of those pictures. Oh my God. Let me get this out. It's got a library card behind it. I made all the library envelopes. Look at this. That is so freaking cool. I have to like maybe paint these. They're so freaking cool. And then look at that. And there's this girl. I couldn't cover these, like I just didn't have the heart. So we are now in the third signature. And this has a booklet in it. I'm just not gonna take it out right now because it's in there. It has a pretty good size booklet in it. And then um, another paper clip with this really cute picture underneath of it. And then we got another piece of ephemera here that you could color if you like. And there is another one of those cute little envelopes. I'm gonna have to find the other ones because I know they're in here. And then this is an, um, uh, a pocket that I made and it has a card in it. 
and then it has a little butterfly with another guitar pick. Sometimes they're, because these books are so tight, it's hard to get stuff in them. Coloring page. Oh, here's, here's another one. Look at this. Look at this picture. It's a ballerina and she's like a big old like tuba or something like that. Oh my God, that's so cool. And then another beautiful picture. You know, people have like the greatest sense sometimes when it comes to like creating these really cool things. Another pocket with a library card in it. Some more music sheets. Another piece of ephemera that you can, it's got a paper clip on it. And then there's another one there that you can color. And then this little guy. And there's more places to write. And then another piece that you can write on. Another, this has got two music sheets in it and they're both able to write on them. And then it's tucked in a belly band with a paper clip, I mean a guitar pick, keeping it from falling out. Another guitar pick, another envelope you can get something into. Um, there's that beautiful guitar again. I try not to use things twice, but sometimes I just can't help myself. Um, instruments. Oh, here, we got another envelope. There's two of these in here too, and they have little tiny pieces of paper in them so you can put little secret notes in these little tiny envelopes that I made. And they're just tucked in there with a piece of filigree. Oh, there's another one. It's a little bit bigger. And then we got this cute little kid. I knew I had some more little pockets in there. I mean, little envelopes. Um, this is a piece of ephemera. try to use all my little pieces that get cut off. If they're not used in here, they will be used in my tiny little um, journals that I'm making out of my cigarette boxes. So here's another little booklet and it opens up and there's paper and then you can actually like put some more stuff behind it. Um, let's see if I can get it back in there. I'm trying to keep it underneath. See, these were supposed to be flaps, but I didn't, I made two extra ones and they were going the wrong direction, so I just used them for a pocket. Oh, here's another girl. Uh-oh, cats, sorry guys. So she goes behind the pocket and then there's another one of these cards in this pocket. There's another, oh, that one doesn't have a pocket on it. And then there's a coloring page. Um, another waterfall. have this on the inside of the book too. I didn't think you might have saw it at the beginning. Here's another oh, this thing. It's driving me crazy. Sorry, it's just it's gonna ruin the book on the back if I'm not careful. Okay, there we go. See another little packet that you can write in. <laughs> and then it's getting really tight. I really have to back off of putting these so big. And there's another one. This has got a booklet in it too. And that's the last page. And then there's this beautiful. And then this stuff that's on the back right here, literally it just came out of a book. And I thought it was kind of cool to finish it off with. And the front one is that really cool quote at the beginning that I really, really like. So I have to go back and finish doing those um, things. So as you can see, that is my music junk journal and it is really packed full. So there's no way I can uh, close it off without like two hands. I tried really hard. Well, obviously I have to have two hands. Um, it's not impossible. It just, you got to kind of like sit on it like a suitcase and, uh, 
get it done. So I will close it off. <laughs> See, if you don't have fingernails, this is way easier, guys. So I'm not even going to bother. Anyway, have a super duper day and thanks for joining me. Bye.